Hi everyone. So before exploring the Laravel file and folder structure, we can go through with the MVC design pattern. And MVC will help us to understand how Laravel works internally. As well as this is a very important interview question also. Its full form is model view controller and keep in mind MVC is not a feature of Laravel. This is simply a software design pattern that help us to make reliable and better software application. And MVC design pattern we can use in any programming language. You can use it with the PHP, Java, C++, with any programming language. Alright, you can ask one thing there like how MVC design pattern can help us to make better and reliable software application. I'll give you the answer of this question within a moment. But first understand what is MVC properly, right? So see, in MVC design pattern, we divide our application in the three parts. First one is model, second one is view and third one is the controller. And this is the full form of this MVC, alright? So in models, actually, we write our business log logic and data communication thing. For example, if you are making any banking ap uh, application and you are writing a uh, logic to calculate the EMI or interest, that code you can put inside the models. So whenever you are communicating with the database, fetching some data from the data or you are storing some data in the database, that code also you can write in the models. In view area, we basically write the code which directly visible to the user not code actually the interface which is visible to the user for example uh, how our website or application look like the color theme font size whatever visible on the ui all right that we actually put in the view controller basically do two two things first one it's interact with the user so whenever you are opening any website so first you are executing the controller's code right in mvc design pattern second thing uh, controller actually communicate between model and view also so what data we have to store in the uh, model and what data we have to display in the view everything is controlled by the controller and that's why we call it controller all right so let's understand it with the this uh, mvc architecture diagram so here you can see that so if there is an end user and uh, if this is uh, just uh, opening any website so first request is directly go to the controller or you can say that if you are just uh, looking on the code level, you can say that first controller code will be executed and according to the condition, according to the page, it will check, it will directly have to show the view or it need to interact with the model. So if let's say directly we need to show the view, then it will just go to the view and display to the user. And if that page needs some data from the database, then it will request for data, then it will get data or apply any logic, right? Any business logic. After that, it will send this data to the view and that view will be displayed to the user. Now you can say that this seems very complex uh, architecture, right? So is it, uh, uh, is can we understand it easily? Yes, definitely. See, if you want to make MVC design pattern in a very simple way, you just need to do uh, two things. First, create three files, then just put your, uh, HTML or visual code that you want to show on the UI in the view your database communication you can put in the another file and you can communicate these two files and uh, can uh, communicate with the user with directly with the controller so you basically need three files divide your code accordingly like uh, in one file you can put the UI code in one file you can uh, connect with the database and one file will uh, control everything user request and view and model so this is a simple MVC and Laravel actually follow this design pattern. So whenever in next part we will uh, go through with the file and folder structure, you will find there are some file for controller, there are some file for view and model. So you can easily understand all of these files after this thing. All right. So I hope you just got everything. And if you have still any doubt, any question, you can ask me in the comment section. This is my Paytm number for donation. And please like this video, subscribe your, subscribe my channel and share your feedback in the comment section. Thanks guys.